If you've been doing your hair this quarantine, then you've been working out and don't let nobody tell you different. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Zaria, if you don't know me, and in today's video, I'm just showing y'all this quick, little, easy little hairstyle for the low. It's a long braid. I love how long it is. Y'all know I like my hair long, period. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, basically, I'm just showing y'all how to do this. It's super easy, super quick. It's definitely on the easier side of hairstyles, so I really thought that it would be something that is good to show you guys for now, because I know a lot of people don't really know how to install frontals and be doing all this extra stuff and we're on lockdown so we can't really go to people to do it for us so i decided to bring a nice simple little hairstyle to my channel for you guys to watch so if you want to see how i got it then keep watching okay so this is what my hair is looking like it's like kind of blow dry kind of not i don't know what exactly this is um so yeah so we're gonna put it in a ponytail Oh my gosh, I thought there was a bug in the room. It was outside the window. You all obviously see a bug outside the window, but like you see it from the corner of your eye, so you think it's in the room with you, but it's really not. That's what just happened to me. <laughs> but yeah, so my hair is like blow dried, but not really because it's like, it's kind of like when you blow dry it, but then you like put it in a ponytail like this, take a shower, so it kind of gets wet. And so it's not like all the way blow dried, but it's like a little bit blow dried. That's basically what this is. So I'm gonna just, I don't wanna wet it, but it doesn't really do anything when it's dry, so I'm just gonna like dampen it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just wet the brush and then brush my hair up like that. I really don't want it to get wet, but like I, I just know that if I brush it like this, it's just not gonna like cooperate. So yeah. So my brush is wet. I'm just gonna go on ahead and brush it up. One thing that's so weird about doing your hair on camera at least for me, is that I'm so used to doing my hair standing up, so like sitting down and doing this, it's kind of weird. I don't really, I don't really know if I like this. <laughs> okay, so now that we're all brushed, I'm gonna take this edge control. This is the main choice edge control. I used it when my hair was straight before, when I got my hair done. If you watch my channel, then you've probably seen it before. But I liked it because I noticed that when I got my hair done, my hair was straight and it was not curling up my hair. So I decided I was going to get it. I'm just brushing these hairs out. Um, Some of them might get brushed back. They might not. Honestly, it really just depends on how I'm feeling and how everything is looking. But I just don't like to brush my like quote unquote baby hairs because I know somebody's going to be like, those aren't baby hairs. But <laughs> yeah, I don't like to brush them in with my ponytail. So Y'all, Florida is just so like, I keep thinking that these bugs are inside, bro, and they're like outside on the window. I am not used to this, like, yeah. If you guys don't know, I was on a trip visiting my long distance boyfriend who lives in Florida when all this lockdown stuff started happening. My job hit me up and was like, oh, we gonna be closed. So I was like, oh, well, I'ma just stay down here. Like, I'ma just stay down here with my man. Um, <laughs> but no, really though, I was not going to the airport. Like, you could not pay me to go to the airport. So I am down here in Florida and I love Florida. My family lives in Florida, it's not nothing new to me. But you know, every time I come down here, these bugs down here, child, they just be, I, I don't do bugs. I don't, it's different, it's so different than like being in New York City, ain't no trees. Out here it's all trees and trees mean bugs. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. That is, that is my life currently. Okay, now I'm just trying to edge control the back. Doing natural hair is such an arm workout, you guys. So like, if you've been doing your hair this quarantine, then you've been working out and don't let nobody tell you different. Whew. Okay, so we have our pony. Now I'm gonna just do my baby hairs. Fun fact, I literally hate doing my baby hairs after I've done my makeup already, but you know, for the purpose of this video, I wasn't about to come on here, you know, like, not done up. I'll just, I mean, if it gets messed up, I guess I'll just fix it. See, it's already makeup on the brush, like. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. Now I'm gonna use one of these little black strips to basically tie all this down so that it could stay while I get my braid together. I never use these, y'all. I just got them because I was like, why not, you know? I think 
think I tied my hair in the Okay, that's tied on there. Hopefully my edges stay laid. And then I'm gonna tie another one closer to the ponytail. I did buy these on Amazon, so there will be a link in the description. I'm pretty sure you can get them at the beauty supply store too, but I got mine on Amazon if anybody wants a link. Moving on. So I got some braiding hair. It is pre-stretched. Whenever I get braiding hair, I feel like it's, it's pre-stretched. But for a style like this, it's low-key kind of important because you don't want the bottom of your braid to be like a straight across like blunt cut. You want it to be more like that kind of, I hope that made sense. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so basically it just, if you're gonna do this, make sure you get the pre-stretched hair because pre-stretched hair is where it's at. So this is one pack. Um, I'm probably gonna use like some of a second pack, but we only on one right now. Uh, braiding hair is like, so it'd be so all over the place. Like I do not like how messy it is. Anyway, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the hair, I'm gonna take the hair tie I'm gonna put it under the hair like this. And then I'm gonna put one side through the other side. So like putting this side through that side so I could get a, a this. Now I'm just gonna tie it around my ponytail a few times until it's like secure or whatever. So yeah, so now I got two. I look crazy as hell, but it's cool. Cause we're gonna fix that. So I'm gonna just take a little bit from each one to make like a third, you know, it's a braid. So you need three pieces. I'm actually going like, okay, hold on. We have to make an adjustment. I need to twist this around to like the front so that it now goes over my hair instead of under my hair. I really hope that made sense. Now I'm going to, okay, I'm gonna leave this in the front for now. It's like, you really have to maneuver when you have like a lot of hair like this. So yeah, so I broke my hair down into three sections. This section's kind of big. I'm gonna take some. Okay, yeah. So now this is gonna go with this. This middle one is gonna go with this. And then this, oh, my arms hurt. Okay, and then this one is gonna go with this one. So I'm gonna take them and then I'm gonna begin to braid it. I hate braiding to the back because like what? And this one's coming loose. I'm about to rip this off, hold on. Hold on, y'all. So let me turn around so y'all can see what this is looking like while I'm braiding it. Ooh, and if we're being honest, I hope it looks good because, girl. And I'm trying to pull it so that it is tight. I think it's looking, okay, okay, not mad. Okay, let me turn back around. Okay, so it's getting a little thin, so I'm gonna add some hair. I should have like opened the pack and had the hair ready. Why I didn't do that, I don't know. I hope my braid don't come undone. This is about to be difficult. This is about to be, this is about to be a problem. Hold on. Okay, okay, I'm about to try to open this with one hand because I don't want to let go of my braid. I got it open, but I forgot it's like, oh, okay, scissors, scissors. Okay, I got everything off of it. I'm gonna take a little, little, little piece. Ooh, okay, that was messy doing with one hand for real. Okay, definitely get your little sections before you start to braid because that's gonna be a nightmare. Okay, so anyways, yeah, so I have my two and I'm just gonna take them and like, I'm gonna add them into like the side pieces. So I'm pushing through the middle and then I'm taking this and this is now one piece. and then it's getting a little thin again. So I'm gonna do the same thing one more again. Okay, 
Okay, so now that I'm at the end, I'm gonna put a little rubber band. I'm gonna rip this off. Okay, so this is my braid. I like it. Okay, but anyways, we ain't done, we ain't done. So I'm taking another piece of hair because I can promise you nobody wants to see your hair tie. So we gonna cover that up with a piece of hair. So we just gonna like wrap it like so. And obviously there's like two different pieces and we can't wrap them at the same time. Oh my God, I feel a piece of hair on my face. Oh my gosh, don't y'all hate that? When it's like a piece of hair, you feel it and you can't find it. Oh, there it go. So I'm gonna wrap this side first and I'm gonna try to make it like flat and I'm gonna spray it so it can stay in place. Probably gonna spray my actual hair later too. Okay, so you see how that came up? I'm gonna put some edge control on it. We need you under control, honey. Okay, that's cool and all, but I feel like I wanna add another piece of hair. It's not as disguised as I would like for it to be. Okay, so I have another piece and we're gonna do the same thing. So that is it. This is my braid. Super cute. I'm here for it. I'm gonna spray some of this. All right, y'all, this is it. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to do like a quick little video of how you can do your own hair for the low because you know, we're all on lockdown and it's really not much we can do and not everybody knows how to like fix their pencils and stuff. I like how it came out. I don't really do hairstyles like this so it was pretty fun. Anyways you guys, thank you guys so much for watching and please remember to like this video, comment on this video, comment other hairstyles that you want me to do, comment if you like this hairstyle, comment if you're gonna try this hairstyle, comment anything. Let me know and also subscribe to my channel because if you're not subscribed like, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell me because why? Like, I don't get it. Anyways, again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.